Hi modelers, we're at the Tamiya booth here at the 51st uh, version of the Tokyo Hobby Show, the All Japan Moke Model and Hobby Show here, and I'm at the Tamiya booth again, checking out uh, some good news for military modelers. Tamiya has announced an M51 uh, Super Sherman in 135th scale. Uh, as you know, at the, a little while ago they released the, the M1 Super Sherman, and now we've got the M51 Super Sherman. Uh, this was with the, the beefed up Easy 8 HVSS horizontal volute suspension uh, suspension system there, which is all new tooling. You can see here the parts laid out. These are all newly tooled parts for the M51 version uh, of the Super Sherman, which was the you know this was the the end of the evolution of the venerable Sherman tank with a powerful 105 millimeter long barreled high velocity gun uh, that the Israelis put on there, in the IDF version. Uh, the the Easy 8 suspension nicely molded here. Looks to be um, a simple assembly with a lot of the parts together unlike uh, the Tasca and some of the Dragon ones where the, the suspension parts are made out of a million different parts uh, although no sacrificing on the detail, the detail is great just a lot fewer parts uh, so for easy assembly the sides of the suspension, or the, the lower hull here for the Easy 8 suspension uh, the cast hull version as you can see here it's got the fenders are actually molded on in there uh, and it's got the Sponson floors in here, uh, as was the, with the past release, so you don't have the see-through effect as you had on some older Tamiya releases. Um, set of new T80 uh, flexible belt style tracks that have great detail. The, it's like the metal, the metal Chevron versions uh, that we're seeing on the Israeli tanks. Uh, so this is great news for for armor modelers, uh, fans of Israeli armor, fans of Sherman's. Um, the oh, I can actually grab it here and show it to you. A little bit. We got a version, a built-up version of the kit here. Uh, the only parts that are not new, newly tooled, uh, is the machine, the, the machine gun parts, as you can see down on here. This is the only sprue that is not an all new, all newly tooled parts. Uh, again, the tracks are flexible, so it rolls if you want it to. Um, other good detail here is it comes with the mantlet, uh, the mantlet cover, canvas cover here as a separate part, that means the barrel doesn't move, but uh, they all had the, the canvas metal cover on there, so that is a great piece of detail there. Uh, all the various equipment that you see on the Israeli Shermans, they put a lot of stuff on here, carry them around, and nicely detailed, you get a little bit of texture on the cast parts, that looks really good. So yeah, this is a great new release for armor modelers, uh, a mostly all new tooling of the M51 Super Sherman in 135th scale. Um, now moving on down the row here a little bit, I'll put this guy back down here. Um, you see, this is that's the M1 Super Sherman that was uh, that's been out for a little while. Oh, by the way, the M51 Super Sherman will be available this December from Tamiya. Now moving down here, an all newly tooled, completely new kit is this uh, set of a motorcycle and set of figures. This is the British M20 BSA M20 uh, World War II motorcycle with a couple of military policemen. Uh, one riding the bike, one there giving some signals. It'll come uh, with the bike, the two figures, and uh, this uh, little handy-dandy road sign here that you can use in making vignettes or dioramas or whatever you want to do. Uh, so that's uh, two, some two great new kits for military modelers from the fine folks at Tamiya. Checking out uh, some aircraft releases here at the, the Tamiya booth. Uh, Tamiya is packaging their nice 48 scale Deuitin D520 uh, with their uh, the Citroën uh, 11CV staff car and a couple of figures to present this French Aces set. Uh, it's got the aircraft, the staff car, uh, a pilot figure, and uh, there's be some sort of flight officer or something there. Um, you can make a nice vignette, nice diorama with this set of uh, kits here. Uh, and this will be coming out next month in November. So the Deuitin D520 with staff car, French Aces from Tamiya. Checking out some car and bike releases here at the Tamiya booth. Um, nothing new per se, but there's some, uh, some old classics from 20 some odd years ago that have been um, repopped uh, to sell again to the happy masses of auto and bike fans. We have down here this big kit of the MB50Z Honda. This is a sixth scale kit, uh, so this will work with uh, any of your six scale figures you might have. 
Um, again, this is from 20 some odd years ago. Uh, the decals are fresh and nice and new. Uh, a cool new kit, a, a, a new old kit actually. Uh, and you come up here, you can see the Porsche 928S and 120th scale. Makes a nice big kit of that, nice engine detail in there. Uh, this is actually on sale now, available at Hobby Link Japan. And coming up over here to the upper right is the Yamaha FZR750R, uh, a great kit. Now this uh, has um, some new cartograph decals included with that, as you can see up there, for the colorful uh, graphics patterns that you see on that bike there. Um, so the MB50 is scheduled for a December release down here, the big Honda. The Yamaha is uh, scheduled for a release later this month, October. And as I mentioned, the Porsche 928S is on sale now. We are at the Tamiya booth, and we are looking at what is easily the number one most interesting item and exciting item of the show, and that's Tamiya's brand new 1 350th scale Yamato. Now, the Yamato is an icon of not only Japan's military history, uh, but also of Japanese plastic model manufacturing. From way back in the day, Japanese hobby companies have always got to have a Yamato and a Zero uh, in their inventory, because those were sort of the national pride of the country, you know, half of a, a century ago. And this is the first Yamato we've had in over 30 years in this scale. Uh, and it's got all of the latest high-tech gadgetry going. Now let's take a look at some of the things Tamiya has done to make this a very, very exceptional kit. First of all, they spent a lot of time on, of course, detail everywhere, but let's take a look, for example, at the main turrets. And instead of just having the, uh, the little, uh, the simple mechanism that, that turns around flat on top of the deck, they've re recreated the entire structure uh, of the turrets, and you can remove them after assembly in a mechanism that's very much like a tank model and they've accurately recreated the actual structure of the main guns uh, within the deck. In fact, even the, the turning mechanism, or the, the gear mechanism here that you can see, that actually existed on the real ship for turning the turrets, has also been recreated. So that's uh, some exceptional detail they've done here. Of course, they've gone crazy with photo etch parts. The, uh, the kit comes with two full sprues of photo etch for various antennas and cranes and, and radars and all of that sort of thing. Uh, and then for options, they've also got uh, the railings uh, as another photo etch set. Uh, additional optional parts include uh, a metal, turn metal barrel set, even got some shells, uh, and also a set, a brand new set of World War II Japanese Navy utility boats. Woohoo! So, now, uh, at Hobby Link Japan, we've decided to put all of this together into one giant package for you at one low price. So if you order it from us, you'll get not only the kit itself, but all, which comes with the two photo etch, but you'll get these three option sets as well, uh, all, in one, all in one shot. Now, as you can see here, this I think is a first uh, for this scale of ship. You can build this 350 Yamato in either waterline configuration or the full hull configuration. Now, everybody's got different opinions about that. Um, the waterline configuration, that's what it looks like when you see photographs of her, but I don't know, something about in this scale, for me, I kind of want to see the rudder and the, and the screws and all that fun stuff, too. Uh, but hey, it's up to you. That's, that's your choice when you're building here. Uh, this is going to be out in late November, and uh, I don't know how you could expect any better. Um, we could talk a little bit more about uh, the Yamato herself uh, as a vessel, but um, let's find somebody around here who might be a little bit more qualified to talk about that than me.